Patrick Gabontiza, my very good friend, uh, an entrepreneur extraordinaire, the founder of Moby Cash, which in my view is probably the only uh, profitable, commercially viable and successful payment platform across Africa. And it's a platform that many other entrepreneurs uh, will do well to learn from. Uh, Patrick, just give us a sense of how big is Moby Cash now? Okay, currently we have uh, on the African continent uh, 16 central bank licenses. Um, that's, uh, we are ramping up in a different level in different countries, but one of the most advanced where we have uh, uh, a volume as Rwanda, we have 2.3 million customers. Um, we have uh, close to 40,000 merchants and uh, 6,000 uh, agents that are the face of our, our business and uh, they collect money from uh, people uh, outside of the formal space uh, in the rural, uh, they go to, to agent uh, where they can transact. You know, what this man has done is that he's built payment infrastructure country by country by country. And in each of these country, countries, he's uh, worked at being embedded uh, and the country that he's most embedded is here in Rwanda. Uh, and, and that's what makes it commercially viable. So I started Mobi Cash, um, but uh, very quickly I found out that uh, doing only payment was not uh, very conducive to, to make money. So and start looking how I can make money circulate more quickly by creating what we call value added services. And uh, that's how we have been able to make uh, uh, a quick turnaround and uh, become profitable because we do uh, tax collection, we do social security, we do savings, we do insurance, uh, macro insurance. So all those value added services, that's what make uh, us become uh, very profitable instead of just relying on a P2P, uh, to sending money person to person. Uh, uh, transaction you know what you're saying is uh, it's a loaded comment okay because I know how this man built his um, uh, Moby cash uh, infrastructure so it's payments but then he went to government department by government department and offered uh, to link payments uh, to things that they have to do um, tax collection um, in, uh, insurance um, social. social security uh, all of that and because of the the, as he said, the value added infrastructure, uh, it has been commercially viable. Yes, the, the, definitely. This is a model that we are busy replicating in uh, other countries like uh, Congo Brazzaville, Congo DRC. Um, the obvious, um, each country is a bit different. Uh, regulation framework is, uh, is uh, different. So we need to adapt uh, to the reality of uh, each country. Remember, Africa is uh, 54 countries and each country is totally different, different culture, different level of ICT and so on. So we need to take care of those local uh, realities. At the, at the moment, uh, Moby Cash is very, um, very East Africa centric. Yes, East Africa and, uh, and Southern Africa. East and uh, South Africa centric. Yes. Um, yeah, that, that's, uh, let's say, the low hanging fruit for us. Uh, before we go uh, uh, much more further, of course, we need some, uh, uh, some deep pocket. Um, and that's why we're looking for some uh, investors to help us. Absolutely. Uh, that's the first question I asked you when I caught up with you, which is, you know, you need investment to, to scale, uh, you know, because you've uh, built the organic model very, very well. I, I have great admiration for uh, Patrick and what he has built and, um, you know, watch the space. This man is building a, a commercially viable uh, payments infrastructure uh, right across Africa. Yes.